Hello and welcome to the GRE Subject Math course. This course will cover all you need to know for the Subject Math test. Yes, I know all the material includes all the courses of a typical undergrad math program, so we will go over it quite fast in order to start solving actual test problems as soon as possible. You probably know that it is not enough to just solve the problem. You have to do it fast. And that is exactly what I am going to teach you. There are several modules for this course, starting with a quick review of basic stuff through single and multivariable calculus, linear and abstract algebra, differential equations, and additional topics, which are set theory, topology, measure theory, probability, complex analysis, all the good stuff. We will have lots of examples and simulation exam questions along the way. The first modules will include all the material you have to know in order to get a score around 80%, which is about 750 out of 900. However, to fully unlock your potential, you should take the advanced module as well. Please note that this is a prep course for the GRE subject exam in mathematics, not for the math section of the regular GRE, which includes writing and verbal nonsense sections. If you have never heard about the mean value theorem, you are probably in the wrong place. However, if you are applying for a math grad program, or statistics or such, you are in exactly the right place. See the frequently asked questions on our website for more info. Before we start, please make sure your major as an undergrad is or was math. You are confident in calculus and linear algebra at least, otherwise review those. You are familiar with the test structure and you read all the info from ETS. Please do so if not. Now, the advanced checklist. Make sure you have good number two pencils and a small eraser. You need these during the test to fill out the answer sheet that is going to be scanned and it is a good practice to get used to working with the same pencil and eraser. By the way, don't count on the pencils you will get from the staff of ETS for the actual test. These pencils break all the time and you will lose focus. Also, get used to working on a blank sheet of paper, just like you will be doing in the exam, not ruled or graph ruled. Make sure to know how to time yourself by an analog clock. And, of course, I hope you have a lot of motivation. The test will have 66 questions that you must solve in 170 minutes. Two and a half minutes per question is very little time, and that is why you have to practice. You are a math major, so most of the questions are easy for you, if you have the time. You have to learn tricks in order to work fast enough. The questions are multiple choice. You will need to fight the urge to prove everything to yourself and start to rely on the intuition that we will develop together through this course. Notice the penalty for wrong answers, so guess with caution. Note that the scores are normalized to a curve. It is possible to get a perfect 900 with 63 correct answers and 3 mistakes. Finally, all the questions weigh the same. Skip the ones you struggle with. Enough talking. Let's start the real deal. 